all right everyone supreme kami over here so welcome back for another beginner guide over here so this time around in terms of this iteration i am going to be focusing on how to actually build a proper milling build so i'm going to do, be doing you know a few procedure you guys it's going to be walking down like all right what kind of stuff that you need to be doing so right now we are looking at a completely blank sheet so don't have any part equipped so we are looking at a zero parameter style overall so uh, what we are going to be doing so we are going to be trying to build something that is similar to this one over here so this one right now is completely decked out um everything is applied so a few things that i do want to point out real quick is like you know in terms of this video i want to focus on um you know helping you guys build a build that has a you know attribute right there have a active, you know, uh, job license activated, and then have three active war tags right there, and then using a skin, and then having all these gear fill up, and then having some custom abilities, and then what else do I need to kind of cover? Um, I guess also trying to like tell you guys, or kind of basically show you guys how to actually build parts, like what kind of part are applicable to, let's say, a melee build, and then what kind of part trade that we need to be focusing in terms of like just building like a kind of like a casual kind of like a marginalized build uh, it does not have to be meta uh one thing to be sure uh it does not have to be a meta part or, or portrait whatsoever it's just something that should be able to get you guys to some events you know um storyline event or let's say some of the hard challenges so you guys can just kind of be well aware of like what is actually needed so this is a pretty prime example over here so this is going to be my tech attribute mainly built so in terms of this video i am going to be you know picking a different attribute to build upon so in terms of this game right now we currently do have three different attributes so this one is being a technique attribute we also do have a physical attribute i think it's a physical or hold up <laughs> okay hold up a second is it physical or physical there you go i always thought it's power type but it's actually physical so physical and then speed so those are going to be our uh, three primary um, you know attributes so in terms of getting an active you know attribute up here so you guys can see that in terms of like why are we even running like an attribute that is like pretty much like a first question like why do we care about running an attribute so uh the simplest uh answer to that is uh, some of the condition in terms of our portrait so portrait are going to be displayed as follows so if anyone is new to the game like what 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 is he talking about like what is portrait like what do they do so portrait are essentially just kind of like a you know they they come in multiple of forms and all that like different descriptions and all that so what i'm displaying here are pretty much going to be uh, power boosting so they're essentially going to be boosting what kind of parameter i have right here so they're pretty much going to magnify what they are going to do in terms of exq do i have anything that is tied down to a specific attribute i don't so that is great but um, in terms of attribute you guys can see that in terms of our one our gear so that is going to be right leg gear so this is going to be an attribute gear so in order to kind of have this gear activated you do have to tie down to a specific attribute so that's why i would say it's a very important to be running a one one typing i would have to say if you guys can definitely try to build in terms of like a melee build or shop build trying to see if you guys can bridge out to making you know pts whatsoever um just depending on you know basically just trying to cover yourself so you won't ever run run into a situation or you are in a type disadvantage so in order to achieve an active war tag or an active uh, excuse me an active uh, or a attribute you will need to have uh, five of the same typing so of nine parts that we have available from head to the pilot you guys can see that i have one two three four and five so those are going to be the five part that is going to compro compose of the attributes so uh, that is pretty much going to be the overall rundown and then in terms of let's kind of explain a little bit more um in terms of you know filling the portrait our goal in this video is trying to fill out every portrait slot possible so you guys can see that we have portrait one so pretty much any part that comes uh, either going to come in the form of portrait available or it's going to come in the form of exq available so exq base um if i click on this one for example it is simply going to show exq it does not have any portrait whatsoever so that's why sub slot is going to come into a great play which we will kind of this you know we, uh, discuss as we do go along the video so that's that um, mainly parts that has you know secondary portrait um, secondary portrait are limited to only part that is available to alteration so uh, if you guys do want to learn more about alteration and just you know like how to alterate do check out my first beginner guys so, uh, i did do like a brief explanation of like kind of alterating it and just kind of like where to alterate parts so definitely check that out in terms of this video i'm purely going to be focusing on how to actually build the build not going to be talking about any other aspect and then if i do have you know um because the thing is i may 
make video on those specific you know topics already so um they should be on my how to play guys something like that so you guys can definitely check those out instead of this one uh, specifically um because i've had to cover everything it's pretty much gonna be like a <laughs> Like, I don't know, like a 30 minute to like an hour long video, which we don't want to do. Um, even right now, we, as I'm talking, it's like roughly about five minutes in recording. So uh, let me do kind of get going already. So up next, a uh, little bit of a brief uh, description for the active word tag. So in order to activate your active word tag that we're seeing, uh, pro tag close combat and high fire power, uh, what you really need to do is uh, pretty much going to be like a puzzle piece in game here. Uh, what we're trying to do, we are trying to compose up basically five per so you guys can see that in terms of uh, pro tag i have five high firepower i have six and then close combat i have six of those or five of those uh, kind of uh, intangible here as well so that's why they are quote unquote you know light up as blue text right now so they are considered as active war text and i think that's pretty much it um, all the other one are pretty much going to be self-explanatory and then skin why are we running a skin because if you are running a skin you guys can do something like i did right here I'm having a fashionable build, so um, if I'm not using a skin, uh, let me show you guys what the build actually looks like. Uh, we are not using any skin, custom skin whatsoever for cosmetic or EX skill base up here. Um, this is gonna be this is gonna be the build that we are looking at, and then in terms of this build specifically, um, you guys can see that I don't have any EX skill equipped because uh, what the skin actually does for you, it allows you to be like a uh, kind of like a placeholder to what your EX skill can actually be. So that's why I can securely equip every slot with this portrait, so that will allow me to hit harder because essentially these are just percentage based. They will calculate into the parameter, and then when I'm executing some you know animation you know, EX skill animation move or whatsoever to an enemy um, they are going to be able to deal more damage so that's essentially why we are using a skin uh, first thing first for cosmetic purposes secondly is they are allow you to kind of place hold the exu instead of doing this for example um, you know if people are not using skin this is pretty much what, what they will be doing so they're going to set something like, something like this and then if, you know essentially they're losing out some portrait that i have right here so what did i have I have a buff EX skill effects up by 20% and then a melee power boosting. Just for example, so this is what people, you know, in general or just, you know, as an example will be losing up. So that's why a skin is a highly, is just highly varied and something that I feel like a lot of people should learn using. So that's why I do want to take that time to do a little bit of an explanation. And like I said, again, if you guys do want to know a little bit more about the skin, how it actually works, how to actually get the skin and etc., definitely do have a video on that already. So yes, and definitely check that out. Uh, once you guys are done with, with this video or you guys want to do kind of like, you know, jump back and forth and all that. All right, so up next, gear. So these are pretty much going to be all the gears that we have quit on. So they are, they are pretty much going to be like the backbone if you will to further increase what kind of stat we're looking at as i do go over to my you know the build that we're building today um, you guys can see that um, how much that we actually um gaining from that in terms of all these gears specifically i do have separate video for them <laughs> dedicating to all gears already so don't worry about that they should be in the description below as well and last but not least we do have custom ability only it's, they're only activated during limit burst so that i have a video on that as well so don't worry about that if you guys are like what what are all these so um so i guess i have done all pretty much like all the base parameter parameter of what i need to do in terms of like kind of going over what kind of stuff that you need to focus on on it on to build so let's kind of talk about what are going to be some active war tag that you need to be focusing on into a melee build so let me do go over to a blank sheet of a build or blank or blank build and then we will discuss a little bit more all right in terms of a melee build so let me do just kind of quickly talk about what kind of active war tag that is applicable to a melee build and why are we using even using active war tags um, because uh, if we're using active war tags specifically on my other example i have pro tag um, close combat and then high fire power they're essentially going to be you know percentage based that is further boosting your uh once you do have the active war tag they are essentially going to be giving in terms of pro tag it is actually going to be offering a 10 percent melee attack and then close combat and then high firepower each they are both offering a five percent melee attack boosting so that's why we want to be you know using an active war tag to further boost or melee attack melee attack set so here are going to be some some of the following war tag that is applicable to a melee build that is going to be boosting it we have first and foremost pro tag amphibious close combat high mobility high firepower transformer mobile fighter and last uh, two more actually uh three more actually excuse me we have federation zak or zeon and then a type so these are going to be the 10 
where tech debt is applicable into a million bill and they are going to be essentially abusing that so you guys can definitely mix and match uh, which every three that you would like to use for example but in terms of this example i am just going to be limiting myself to pro tech um mobile fighter and then high firepower because those are pretty much in my opinion like for my build specifically just something that is easily built around and then if you're talking about some relevancy of like what people tend to normally run for example uh, most people i see tend to run let's say uh, first and foremost the pro tagging once again close combat high mobility so these are pretty much like a good combo that you see people might run or people might tend to run let's say um on a niche occasion uh, transformer high mobility or even high fire power something like that or they can do a mixture of let's say close combat high mobility and high firepower so it, it doesn't really matter um this basically you just want to have an active war tech that can boost your melee attack and that's pretty much it and uh now that you guys know what kind of let's say you know melee war tech that is actually used so let's do talk about in terms of the nine slots so let me do kind of do a little bit of a separate explanation so in terms of you know for a melee bit specifically um there's going to be two separate parts that is going to allow you to you know have a massive jump in terms of that um i guess in terms of that i can go back to this example um uh, in terms of you know there's there's two parts like i said that has, you know that's going to grant you like the massive boost for example for melee stat that is going to be your arm so in terms of the arm, you guys are seeing we are looking at 18,000. So if you take a look at any of the other part, they're not. They're just not going to be rivaling up in terms of like what kind of stat we're looking at. So that's why the arm is going to be one of the one, one of no, one of the most important part that is, that is going to allow you to gain a lot of stat, for example. So that is definitely something that, that you guys should kind of pay attention to and try to get quote unquote like the best part possible that you currently have in your box and you guys should be good. And then up next, uh, the other one is definitely going to be like your melee weapon because as you guys can see, we are rounding up to a 21,000. So if we do take a look once again to some of the other slots, for example, pilot, for example, shield, for example, they're just not, right? Uh, they're simply not going to add up in terms of like everything in total. Um, the arms and then the melee weapon, they're still going to be, you know, the two most highest, you know, number that we can get. And, you know, that's pretty much it. So that's why in terms of building around that, definitely try to see if you guys can find a good pair of arm that's uh, applicable to some of the uh, following work tech that I just uh, showed you guys right there. So um, last but not least, I guess is the pilot, right? Uh, pilot wise, in terms of the pilot that you want to be using specifically, uh, there are going to be only two or three, actually. Let me see. So in terms of pilot wise, there's only going to be three that is applicable to a melee build a defender. And then we have an infighter and then outfighter. But uh, in a normal circumstances, most people tend to not use defender because defender is more or less like a tanky build, for example. But uh, if, we took a look, if we take a look at some of the gear, which I'll explain in a bit, um, you know, defender actually does get a boost from that um, job gear as well. So that's why I, you know, maybe classify that as a melee uh kind of um job lessons as well but in terms of mainly bit overall you, what you want to be using is definitely going to be infighter and outfighter and then if you want to ask like why would i use one over the other uh there's not going to be like a big differences for example um in terms of infighter you are allowed to let's say charge up your job gauge for example while you're in battle and then in terms of outfighter you cannot charge your job gauge but you have the opportunity to actually block you kind of have like a shield for example while the infighter does not so there's not going to be like a huge discrepancy of using one over the other i think most importantly it is going to come to, comes down to like all right what kind of you know in terms of let's say portrait for example their conditions um are they going to be interfering with let's say either infighter or outfighter so those are definitely something that you want to be looking out for uh because in terms of one of my build uh, one of the parts trade that i have is uh, restricted to me using only outfighter so that's why i kind of have no choice but to use an outfighter but um if you guys can definitely try to use something that's a little bit universal in terms of let's say the condition or some other condition that is not too hard to fulfill so um now that i basically kind of got all those you know um explanation done so let's actually get onto the build so in terms of actually building it i'm not really gonna sit here and do like every part you know uh, everything exp explain it for example i'm pretty much gonna be fast forwarding it so how i actually do want to do this uh, this is something you guys can do as well uh depending on what kind of box you guys are looking at for example um i will say this method is gonna work for you guys as, uh, as well so we are let's say gonna start off from the head part or let's kind of uh, set some parameters so um, in today's video, we are going to be making an S attribute 
And then in terms of some active work that I would like to have activated, it's going to be protect, high firepower, and then high, uh, and then mobile fighter. So those are going to be some three, three main war attacks that I will want to be focusing on, and that we shall go from there. So, in terms of actually how I'll actually start by you know selecting a part into the build, what I'll actually do is going to select the free train right there, and then we are going to click on the sorting. Or before doing that, let's actually set. Or um, active war text. So we want pro text. Uh, we want high fire power, and then we want what uh, bow fighter. So those are going to be the main uh, main three war tags that I would like to have activated. But if you guys are not sure what kind of good melee part you guys have, for example, try to do this as well. You guys can filter it as much as you want. Um, close combat, high mobility. Um, Transformer, um, Federation, Zion, and then Saga Time. So those are something you guys can do to help you guys um, kind of, you know, um, better find your part, for example. But me personally, I just kind of know what kind of part I need already. So that's why I am just going to simply show you guys by doing this three over here. And then we, we should be good to go. And then up next, we are going to go over to the Sortie tab. And then we are just going to click on Melee Attack. Um, that is going to be from the highest to the lowest. And then what we can also do we can select from the current value so they are not so if you have a really strong melee part that is only base level one it's not going to display it at the moment so what you can actually do you can click on further clicking this you can see that it is going to display by the max value minus so this is going to be uh the part without any marks and then up next we are going to be taking a look at the max value of mark so this is probably what we'll be doing uh, simply going to be showcasing everything by the highest value service star if, uh, if applicable and then you know red marks as well so let's see what we have so okay that's actually not bad so you guys can see that this part is what the star build strike is uh, quote unquote the strongest part that i have right now and that one is not even up, uh, upgraded and all that so let's see um so that's something you can do but in terms of me personally i am just gonna filter by what i currently have so current value and see what we have so um something i'm gonna, I'm gonna pick right out the bat is gonna be the burning gundam uh, because it is gonna be offering a uh, mobile fighter and then high mobility so um you guys have seen that i have high mobility but that is not an active war type that i would like to have activated so uh, after i fill up everything i'm gonna show you guys how to actually change the some of your active war tags so you guys can have something that you will want so stay tuned to that as i do uh, commence my build right now so uh in this segment i'm just actually just going to be fast forwarding it so you guys can see how i'm actually selecting my parts so let's begin Okay, so the build is uh, halfway done. So you guys can see that in terms of the um, overall, like what we have so far, we have an active attribute. So right yeah, you guys can see that it is gonna be speed attribute. And then in terms of some active war tags, uh, what are we looking at? Only high mobility, okay. So we can't use that right now uh, because in terms of what I want, be, want to be focusing, I want pro tag, um, high firepower, and then mobile fighter. So let's kind of take a look at the overall tag and see what, what, what do we have um okay where's it at okay so it's not looking too hot so we only have three mobile fighter seven high mobility yeah we gotta do some something on that uh we do have high firepower and then in terms of pro tag we only have two so um how are we ever gonna fix the word tag like um like what kind of possibility um so that's why sub slot are gonna come in very handy so once you get a part to six star for example you can start doing sub slotting and then that will allow you to just kind of change your portrait exq uh, mainly portrait that's really uh, what you really want yeah, ultimately if you do need to change for example like for example in terms of this build i have burning in there right there the head part and then a the body part those are, are yeah, the torso they both have ex skill so ultimately what i need to be doing um, i need to be filling these out with some actual portrait so uh i, I didn't even talk about portrait you guys so in terms of some portrait that we want to be focusing in like actual build for example there's only going to be four specific you know portrait like in terms of the language what you really want uh first thing first uh, we have this one here we have the 
uh, white hard fire power. Like in terms of like the bottom portion of it, like the actual effects, we have the bump EX good effects up by 35%. So it's pretty much going to be based on what kind of percentage you're looking at. But when, when you guys do see that kind of condition, like the bump EX good effects, that is something that I personally do enjoy running because uh, it, it pretty much allows you to kind of hit harder. Uh, this pretty much allows you to gain a lot of power, like output wise. So that's something I would definitely run. Up next, we do have something that is uh, general, you know, uh, we do have an EX skill power boosting. So that is generally something you would find yourselves to run anyways, um, just on, on a given build. So in terms of EX skill power boosting, so that is only limited to your EX skill, but that is not going to be limiting to either, it, for example, we are doing a you know, melee build. So let's say if you, for example, do have a shot build, EX skill for example, that will be able to benefit from that EX skill boosting as well. And then in terms of the third war tag, we have some or the third portrait, we have something that is, uh, you know, the melee power boosting by 25%. So this one is 25%. So that is going to be like the third category of a portrait that you'll be running. And last but not least, I don't think I have it on here yet. Um, the last thing that we want is actually going to be some energy charge boosting. So those are going to be something that goes along the line of this, for example. Um, they should have something along the line of, let's say, initial EX skew, uh, with a charge boost by 25%. So they come in various, you know, percentage, uh, max out some, the highest form we have right now is going to be 25%. And then, you know, Wolfer, they stop at 12%. And then if you're looking at some standard and then some limited, they are looking at 20%. So 25% is definitely being one of the more premium ones you are looking at. So, um, but yeah, those are pretty much going to be the, you know, the four portrait that, you know, in terms of my opinion, would recommend you guys running instead. And then uh, what we need to do now, we are going to be doing some sub slotting. We are going to completely change out all the war tag that we are looking at here. Um, I'm completely going to flush out the high mobility as well, because uh, that is definitely something we don't want. And uh, to talk about to do talk about the pilot right now as well, you guys can see that we have kind of like a hazardous kind of symbol right there. So uh, since I do have a pilot equipped and I have not set a job gauge yet, so let me do take a little bit to explain about my pilot right here. So in terms of the pilot, we have the Mikaski August uh, right here. So this version of it is going to be a strictly going to be a melee build monster. You guys can see that this is going to be a dual type melee. So I have the option to pick either or. So that is like the flexibility of running these kind of like a build project pilot. Um, you know, dude, like as, as the game do uh, progresses, for example, because right now we do have a free to play quote unquote build project pilot. So you guys eventually will be able to get him as well if you guys do want to choose him, for example. Uh, I don't even know how many months away we will be able to see him, but definitely down the line, I I don't I don't know if we will get him by the end of the year. Probably not, uh, because right now we are already June, so July we should be getting. I think starting July, um, August, September, October that area, we should be getting some better pilots so those are definitely gonna carry those uh, dual type lessons which you can pick either or since uh, this one is spe uh, specifically for melee so what i can do now i can pick either or um and then in terms of what i'll be running i think i'll be running outfighter instead because i know that there's uh, like a specific portrait that i i want to be using that will have an outfighter kind of like a condition so that's why i'll be running outfighter and now you guys gonna see that in terms of my melee attack you guys can see right now it's only at 70 thousand so once i do apply the outfighter license gauge right there the license right there uh, you guys can see that i roughly jump up to seven thousand so that roughly gives me about 10 percent to my overall melee attack so that's a uh, fairly strong so now let's actually get started in terms of the sub slotting so sub slot there are you know pretty much like a i don't know like in terms of sub slotting, there's not like a straightforward way of doing it. Um, there's people that does like, you know, doing big skill. I think having big skill as a sub slot is definitely a very beneficial thing. But in terms of this part, look at this. Uh, we do have EXQ. What I tend to see people do, honestly, in terms of like when I run into people in multi-mission build, um, let's see, let's say this. So people usually do this. So they see that, oh, this part, for example, carry out the high stats in the box, for example. This is what they will do. So um, ultimately they are doing this kind of shenanigans where they think this is like a optimal setup. But I mean, like ultimately you guys can let me know right now, but just kind of watching my overall portrait, um, they're missing out something, you know, um, they're missing out to portrait that will allow you, like allow them essentially to either hit harder, for example, because like if you see like if you see those people build for example how they perform in multi mission, uh, I'm not trying to call them out for example, but you guys can see them they're hitting for like one one damage for example, uh, which is like 
I don't know because like in terms of when I play the multi mission, they are either in like the the hardest difficulty, like the ultimate difficulty. So they're they're not hitting for anything because they're lacking all these portraits that will allow them to you know kind of get any power like power output. So that's why we're not doing that. So. That's why we would need, if you have some like a setup like this, like how I have, uh, your main part is an EXQ, do make sure your subset has at least some sort of part tree that is like the four that I had mentioned previously. So what I'll be running instead, um, since I don't think there's any big skill that I can actually use that has a good, you know, power boosting. So ultimately I am going to be using this one here. I, I know what I want to use already. So that's why I'm just going to directly filter it. That should be under the battle log. I'm going to be using the Helios head because that one, uh, let me see. Okay, this one. So this one, unfortunately, does not give me the highest stat, for example, but in terms of the actual portrait, I am going to be gaining a double EX skill boosting. So you guys, so in total, it's going to be worth 72%. So um, you guys can definitely let me know. Do you guys think a flight of damage is going to outweigh a actual 72% boosting? So I think, you know, if you're just going to do like a quick map for example you guys can just clearly tell having something like that is going to be better so we're going to have this done and this is uh, where the fun begins so this is where we're going to completely ships out we're going to face out the high mobility so what we want in terms of this overall build uh we need pro tech like i said again high firepower and then you know more better so ultimately i'm going to drop this one here and then i'm actually going to be picking pro tech um you guys may be asking now like how how are you able to access pro tech on a separate like kind of like a separate column um if you just want to know already in terms of burning in them we do have two attribute we have the s attribute version and then the p attribute s attribute is the build project so eventually you guys will be able to get that one for free and then p attribute that is going to be the soca version and if you do have the newest one at seven star um and then if you do have access to the p attribute you will be able to access uh, this vortex so that's why we are able to do that so not bad and then in terms of portrait, I am going to be selecting this one. So simple as that. So uh, now you guys can see that in terms of portrait one and two slot, you guys can see that I have the E skill power boosting by uh, 36 and 36 over here. So uh, that is pretty much what I will be doing. So I'm just going to continue to do what I did, you know, just kind of fast forward it. Uh, because if I, do, if I will have to talk the whole way actually doing this is uh, probably going to take very long. So let's actually get started. So you guys can see um, how I'm actually filtering like what kind of part I'm picking, like specifically the portrait. I uh, definitely do focus on the portrait that I'm picking. Like these one I have over here, like they're not they're not final. Uh, some of them like the burning gun, for example, I'm not going to be using. Uh, something let's say for example like the Junior Sword 3, I'm not using that either. So you guys can see how I'm actually changing it. And then, you know, in terms of the filtering, pretty much going to be doing the same thing. Um, simply just going to be filtering the same thing. Uh, by melee for example and then just kind of pick from there and then see oh which portrait is better and which portrait i can actually benefit from so let's actually get started now All right, so that is a pretty much it in terms of the sub slot here. So uh, there are going to be some, you know, few tips I will give you guys right now. Um, in terms of big skill, uh, what you can do is big skill. For example, uh, if you have one that is big skill, and then if you do have another one unaltruated, you guys can see it is actually treated like a different part. Like it's treated the same part, but like a different, like you know, in terms of like the actual database. 
it's kind of like a different ID, but they're actually treated the same name, uh, different attribute, or not different attribute, different scaling. So that's why I am able to get a 20% non-conditional, you know, you know, that 20% non-conditional boosting, and then matching all those uh, specific vertex. And I think that's uh, same part. Yeah, so uh, that's kind of like a cheesy reason for you to get like a major boost with her. So that's something what we did. Um, in terms of the melee weapon being one of the most important part in a build. So for example, if I'm not able to have the second copy, because ideally what you want to do is either you want to subset the same thing to gain a up to a 30.5% right there. Or if you have a big skill, for example, like I do have right here. Uh, this one's a big skill, right? So this one's going to be carrying out a 35% as well. Um, the scale differences, this one is a 1 to 1 for skill. Uh, this one's big skill, um, pair that onto a 1 to 1 for first skill. So uh, this is, could be another method you can do it. So if you guys don't have another second copy, uh, for example, this one specifically, uh, that's what I'll do since I do have another copy. So that's uh, that's why I can do that. And plus this one does come with, with a good portrait already. So that's why I don't really mind what is being subsided here. So kind of that. Um, otherwise, in terms of all the other portrait, uh, I think we are pretty much set to go, right? Uh, we got what now pro tag high firepower and then high mobility so i think right now we are pretty much closing it to finish i think last but not least uh, just looking over, over the stat we're now up to a hundred and nine thousand so in terms of the finale we need to apply some of the gears so in terms of the gears i do have separate videos talking about them specifically how to actually form them how they actually works and etc so you guys can definitely check those out in a separate video uh, because this one is more or less like an all uh, encompassing of like everything in one uh, because there's so many specific you know details of like what you guys actually need to do so uh, i can't quite explain everything in one video so that's why they are already you know broken off and they, those videos are already published uh, by now um, because they came out like way 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 earlier than this uh kind of like a guy right here i would have to say so start off with the chest gear so the highest one we have currently in terms of the torso it is going to be the fire star that is going to be rocking out a 2500 so we are going to be equip that on right there and bam up next uh, we have the chain gear so chain gear is going to be rocking a 40 so it's basically going to be taking 40 percent off your actual melee defense so um, you guys can see that my melee defense is actually slacking by a lot so um don't really expect too much from the actual chain gear but this gear right here is going to allow you to gain i want to say probably one of the major boosting in a way so we won from like what uh let me try to go for a shot for example so we nearly jump up by thirty thousand. so that's actually like a major boosting so if you guys are able to form up the uh the change here i will have to say that it's probably one of the more important ones so i'm gonna have that in up next so we should have the actual job gear or yeah the job gear over here so we are gonna be using the outfitter this one of it is gonna be the four star version and having a four star version um is the benefit of having it is uh, in terms of the actual first job gauge charge it is already going to be 90 percent. so by the time you actually do hop into battle for example um it should have been fully charged already in in, in combination of the actual um right now it's stated at 90 percent. so after adding that we are looking at yeah that's like nearly get 3000 gain because what is it uh 2000 right there uh, why do you say it's uh, going to be filled? It says 90%, but, but why do you say it's uh, going to be 100% when it's actually in battle? You want to take a look at down over here. Uh, we have something called the frame upgrade. So, this is uh, what every gear that I have in possession is going to get an, another additional 15% increase um, just simply by having you know this effects right here. Uh, these are going to be called something to expert for. I, I have yet to do a video on this one here, so I might actually go back to it because I'm pretty sure a lot of people might have questions on this one. Like, what what, what is expert point? Like, how how do I even get expert points? Uh, so this is uh, something that I'll probably do as a kind of like a follow up video. So um, I think the main premise of this one, you really do have to have a lot of completed collections. So that's why um, I've been suggesting people to like um, just any rerun, for example, at least trying to complete the whole set. Um, you get, so you guys can get like the actual quote unquote completed collection. So uh, currently we are up to only 15%. So I'm pretty sure, I don't know when, like they really have not touched the actual, you know, like the frame upgrade for like very, a very long time. So um, so that's going to be it. So um, up next, we are going to be taking a look at the actual war gear. So in terms of the melee aspect, um, I think probably the best one is obviously going to be the mobile fighter just because of its actual condition being like a 10% melee attack boosting and then like actual 5% um, melee defense. Uh, but in terms of this actual effects, like what is affecting? 
that's an actual 180% up and then an actual 3000 to both defensive side. This one is just honestly quite too powerful. Uh, even if you take a look, take a look at Protect for example, Protect and Mobile Fighter is both pumping out on its actual War Tag, a 10% melee boosting, but this one instead is only giving out 120%. So um, yeah, that's gonna be a difference. So if you guys can definitely, but if you, if you guys cannot definitely use Protect or even let's say, um, or is it high mobility but you know if you guys can obviously use the mobile fighter is just one of the better better ones to be looking at even let's say look at um high firepower uh it's just not nearly nearly not as not enough this one is rocking 167k this one high firepower be doing 158 and then in terms of uh what you would call it the mobile fighter we are rocking 175 that is crazy that is crazy so um in terms of the actual war tag gear they are only going to be applicable to the one that you have active, so don't try to use, let's say, uh, what, what else do I have in here? I have, let's say, some of the other, like, uh, Mass Reduction, Commander. They, they're not going to activate because they're not actually the active war tag, so uh, that is definitely something to kind of keep in mind right there. So, and last but not least, we have the uh, attribute gear. So, this is why it is a very important to be running an actual attribute because this one right here is going to allow you to further boost your stat once again. So, this one right now, we are gaining a... Uh, in terms of flash stat, we are getting a melee attack up by 2,000. And then in terms of the actual percentage, when you know this is equipped with S attribute, uh, melee or, or, or 20 damage to P attribute. So you got to keep that in mind. I'm actually doing type advantage already, so I'm doing more power to P attribute already. Plus, we're getting another 50 or 20%. So that is a, that is a quite a powerhouse already. And then if you're doing type neutral damage, you are also going to be gaining an additional 15%. So in terms of the actual attribute gears, there are actually a lot of variation. You have one that is a specifically, uh, specifically for uh, speed attribute versus P attribute for shot. And then you have one that is a uh, speed attribute versus a text. So that is going to be type doing type of disadvantage. But when you do when you do do uh, let's say type this disadvantage for example i believe they actually do give you a higher boosting just to allow you to kind of um do a little bit more damage to them so but this is what we are going to be um using instead in this video and obviously if you do want like a full guide for like, how to actually get some of the other gears i definitely do have videos on them already so all right so we're going to equip this one and then last but not least we have the actual um, custom ability. So this is uh, something that I have done already. So this is uh, gonna be applicable when you do activate your limit break. So for that few short seconds, for example, you'll be able to gain an additional power boosting. So this one we have a beam specifically, and then we also do have a physical uh, specifically. So these two, I would have to say you can run them uh, together, maybe able. Um, they will definitely be you know great asset. And last but not least, we do have the buff EX good effects by 30%. So another way to cheese in those uh, kind of good portrait overall. So, and there you guys have it. So uh, this is, uh, you know, like the skeleton, like finally, like the real skeleton that you can actually apply your build. Um, so we are done. We, we are completely done. Um, you guys can see that we are rocking 179,000 melee attack. Um, our portrait are fill up. Um, so you guys can see that we have 18 portrait in total. Um, all these portrait are going to be functioning as a power boosting. We have EXK power boosting melee power boosting we have buff ex scale effects and last but not least we do also have some initial charge boosting by 25 percent so those are pretty much going to be the four portrait that will be kind of you know throughout the part like 18 portrait that will be running um, but in terms of the initial charge boosting all you need is one specific one if you guys can max it out for example and that is a pretty much going to be it um last but not least i guess in terms of the new edition we have something called the enemy cut um so this is pretty much going to work exactly the same as the normal power boosting ex gear slash mainly boosting so there's not any much of a discrepancy so um this is gonna be pretty much it um the last thing that we need to do is actually wear something and apply a skin and that is uh, literally gonna be it so i can pretty much apply anything that is like a melee warranted so i can use this build for example and then pretty much going to be um just rocking this uh actual parameter i can actually if, if for example i don't like this build or the skin i can actually change it over to this one and um it's, it's just gonna be simple as that so um i think after you have like the actual build like that um the next thing you can do is actually do a lot more customization you can definitely do a lot of aesthetic build that you can actually enjoy playing and so 
um, that's why using a skin is definitely going to be a very beneficial thing to be looking at and you know in terms of actually the building aspect that is simply how you want to do it um, there's definitely you know you can definitely do it your own way but this is something that I recommend you guys and you know uh, just the filtering aspect I think it's a fairly simple and self-explanatory to just kind of see what kind of highest stat part you currently have um obviously i'm using my highest stat for example but if you guys don't have, if you guys don't have something like that maybe you guys don't have such support it is still going to function like that um at the end of the day it's the part tree that's pretty much going to make up the majority bulk of how much power you can actually output so with that being said that is a pretty much going to be it in terms of this uh, kind of like a tutorial like a long one to be exact but um hopefully you guys do learn something from this one and then i'll catch you guys later on with maybe like a shooting build guy as well